Well, on one, you will select the dime, fold it up, and just have it sitting there. And then have your coins out there, and you ask them to select something. And if they select the quarter, you say, now you could have selected the penny, or you could have selected the dime. You could have selected the nickel, but you didn't. You selected the quarter. And I knew, because I had written down right there on the back of the quarter, that you would choose the quarter. And it's as simple as that, a very easy trick, and it will boggle young minds. For this trick, we have a couple things on the table. We have a cup filled with three pennies. We have three pennies there inside a normal cup, right? Normal cup. We're going to put the pennies inside the cup. The cup is going to represent God and all of his riches. God has a lot of riches. This book is going to represent the Christians. Okay? Now, when God gives the Christian some, some money, some riches, he has given one, two, three. He's given us three different riches. Okay? Or uh, the amount of three. He's given us some money. Suppose we were to give that money back to God like he asks us to. Suppose we were to put that back in God's hands. God will multiply what he had given to us if we give it back to him. God, if you wait, God will send pennies or things, more riches down from heaven. He just, you'll sit there and wait a little while and all of a sudden he'll drop one in. Then you wait and he drops another one in. Then all of a sudden he drops one more in. And by that time you have six. You started off with three, but you gave it to God. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you have six now, whereas you started off with only three because you gave it to God. Now, suppose you give it to God again. You keep giving the things God has given you back to Him. You give them to God again, and pretty soon, God will bless you. You wait because you've given it back to God, and all of a sudden, He'll send down something else. And then another one, and then another one. And pretty soon, God has given you some more simply because you gave it back to him, just like he asks. And now you have nine pennies. You started off with three, and now you have one, two, three that you started off with. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six that God has given you. Just because, because you gave the first three back to him, he get, kept giving you more. And if we keep giving our money to God and give our things and our time to God, He promises us that He will give us more back than what we gave Him. Pretty good example of how He gives us more, isn't it? Would you like to see how that's done? Okay. Yeah. Stephanie, this trick also requires a little bit of preparation. What we need is we need a cup. We need a book, and we need nine pennies. I use the pencil just to make sure you know that I'm not touching the pennies, and they are really nine separate pennies. And you put the pennies on top of the book. You start off with three, and then you go from there. But here's the secret. This book has been messed with. I fixed this book so that it would have a hole right there. I actually cut some of the pages down a little so that if you open it up, there's a hole in the book right there cut out of some of the pages. Then I also put a hole right here in the back. Had to cut through the binding and actually put a hole in the back so that when you open it up, you will actually see some holes. You see this hole here and this hole here. But when the book is closed and at an angle like that, you can't see them. So all I have to do is, before I do the trick, I put three pennies and just slide them in the hole just like that. Then I turn it and I put three pennies in this hole. There we go. Now my trick is ready to go. I have these three pennies in here to represent how much God's wealth and what he gives to us. I set them down. And when I count them, I put them towards where I'm going to pour. Put them right over here. So I have one, two, three. Then when I pour them, this is actually what happens. You keep the book level and you pour pretty quickly and you pour, and those three pennies came out of that hole. Now you have six pennies, not just the three. You have six. Then, when you set them up again and count them out, you have them in here, 
and you catch them from heaven. One, two, three. Then you pour them out, and they will see now there are six pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you notice this time I put them right next to this hole that's back here. I counted them out, and as I counted them, I moved them so that they would be next to this hole so that when I poured them into the cup, if you give them back to God, actually what's happening is those pennies as well as the three that are in here are going in. And then I set it down and I say, now, since you've given back to God, He has given you lots more. Now you have nine pennies, whereas you only started out with three. And really the secret is, is that you've hid three pennies in each side of the book. That's the whole secret. All right, for this next trick, I have a balloon in my hand, okay? Now, I'm going to pretend like I cut this balloon, okay? Actually, I'm not going to cut it, but I'm going to pretend like I cut this balloon, okay? And I'm just going to pretend like I cut it. Now, a lot of people will come up and they'll say, I saw you cut that balloon, but actually, I'm not really cutting this balloon. I am simply pretending like I cut it. A lot of people will say, but wait, I actually saw some of the pieces fall on the table. I know you had to cut that balloon. I saw the pieces. No, I did not cut the balloon at all. You may think that I cut it, but I didn't. And you can tell because... For this trick, all you need is a couple balloons, the same color, some scissors, and a pencil. All right? What you do is you take one balloon, and you get right in the middle of it, and you push down. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually push the bottom of the balloon up into where you blow into the balloon, up into the top, like that. So you're going to push it down into the balloon, like so, so it's down there. Then you take the pencil out. Now you have a balloon that's all balled up like that. Then you take this balloon and you stretch out the top, and you actually place this balloon down inside of it, like that. That way, it looks like you have one balloon. But really, you're kind of covering this up a little. Really, you have two balloons. One is stuck down inside there. And you can feel right where the end is. So, you can tell people, so you can tell people that you are going to cut the balloon or that this is the Christian's life. You can say, you know, a lot of people think I cut this balloon, but really I'm not. And they'll say, no, he, he really is cutting that. I know that he is. I saw all the pieces falling. But really, all you're doing is you're cutting the outside balloon. And then, after you're done cutting down a little ways, and be careful not to cut your other balloon, you blow the balloon up. I just hold it with this hand, act like I'm blowing this balloon up, and you... And then you've got to cover up your evidence, because if you just let the balloon go, they would see this part. So you've got to tell them, you know what? Balloons are very fragile. All right, Stephanie, this next trick, we have a simple penny here, and we are going to try to make the penny disappear, all right? I have here a tube. Stick your hand in there. Make sure that's empty. Nothing in it. Yep, it's definitely empty. I am going to try to make this penny disappear, though. But this magic, pennies that disappear can only happen in the dark. And this is a very special tube. Oh, although it may just look like a piece of paper that's taped together, really it's very special. I have some secret chemicals on here that actually attract pennies to them. So I'm going to set this tube right over this glass right here, normal glass, going to set it over this glass, and I'm going to actually set it on top of the penny. Now, as I pull this tube up, what should happen if my chemicals are correctly put together, I should be able to pull the penny up and out of the glass. Okay?